Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about my hair because it is bugging me. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing with my hair. But first of all, currently I am in the midst of growing out all this bleached blonde. Um, it doesn't look too bad from this side when it's like flipped over, but on this side you can see um, how far my roots are growing out. And at the moment it doesn't look too hot. Um, but I'm persisting because I want it to be gone because it has just damaged my hair. I had split ends. I think it looks kind of cool, but I also, because I'm wanting to go to uh, a no poo, low poo, preferably no poo method, um, I think it's best to just have completely natural virgin hair. So I am growing out the blonde bits. It's not, it's not that much because it's just like the top layers. You can see back here is all my natural color and the roots are growing through. So hopefully I won't have to wait too long for it to all be gone. Um, when I put my hair up, it's like you, you can barely see any blonde yet. It's just like the ponytail at the back. Anyway, um, so today I want to talk about um, the products that I'm using, what I'm doing to my hair. So I've never really used products on my hair. I've never really um, used like gel or hairspray or mousse or any of that stuff. I've always been quite lazy when it comes to hair. I've just relied on um, the haircut and the colour and whatever to make it look. I think, I think like natural tousled looking hair looks best anyway. I don't really like that sleek perfected look. So I have never really bothered with products. So that has been okay. Um, I have been wanting to try no poo for about a year. Um, but my hair is very, very thick. Well, I have it's very fine hair because I'm naturally uh, like a mousy blonde colour but I have so much of it, like an enormous amount of hair that it's just so heavy and thick feeling. And I also have very oily hair and skin. So that's what I'm dealing with. And if I don't wash my hair, I generally wash my hair about every three days. Yeah, I'd say every three days. Um, if I go past that, I mean, this is day three hair and you can kind of see it's quite oily. I'm not gonna go up close because it's a bit grim, but, um, yeah, I I just <laughs> past that it is it is like it turns into a helmet. It's like a solid oil helmet. It is so gross. Even putting it up, just like it makes it look even worse. You know when people say that oh I'm having a bad hair day, I'm just gonna put it in a bun. If I put my hair in a bun, it looks even worse. The oil is like even more magnified. So I have to like wear it down when it's really oily. Um, that is the reason, actually, why I bleach my hair so much. Um, I do like the look of blonde hair, but I probably would never have bleached it um, just for the colour. I wanted it because it really dries out the hair and it makes um, it makes it less oily. Obviously, when the roots are grown through, this is very, very oily. But when I have um, the bleach all the way to my roots, I don't have to wash my hair. Um, I can get away with washing it once a week. That's why I had it for maintenance reasons, um, and I do all my own um, cut and colouring at home, so it was, it's practically free anyway. Um, so yeah, but I wanted to go to no poo, and so having bleached hair I don't think is preferable. So I'm growing it out, um, and I'll show you the um, stuff that I'm using. So first of all, I've got my wooden hairbrush here, which I use to brush through my hair um, to disperse the oils. That's why I don't use a plastic brush. Also because it's plastic and I hate plastic. Um, but with the wooden brush, because wood is porous, um, it s absorbs some of the oil from the root of your hair. And as you brush it through to the ends, it disperses the oil evenly and it'll take away a lot of the oil from the scalp and disperse it to the ends so that they get nice and moisturized and so split ends aren't as much of a problem. For my shampoo and conditioner, I'm currently using the Sukin. Um, this stuff just sounded great. Honestly, I didn't really know what I was looking for. I knew I wanted to go for an SLS-free shampoo for a low poo method. Um, if you guys don't know, no poo is when you don't use any products in your hair at all. You just wash your hair with water when you need to. Um, so that's what I'm aiming for in the long run. That's what I'd like to do. Low poo is when you do use shampoo, conditioner, um, whatever you need, but it doesn't have any sulfates in it, which is what um, strips your hair and your scalp of its natural oils, and therefore your hair um, or your scalp produces, overproduces oils to compensate and makes your hair very oily. And then it's like, it's a cyclical process, and then you need to wash it more, and the more you wash it, the more it gets oily, and it's just... So I'm breaking free of that. Um, 
this is what I'm using. So the Sukin Purifying Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, yeah, it was one of the first um, SLS free shampoos and also it has this big list down the side here. It's got this big old list um, on the bottle here that um, is all of the things that are not included that are generally included in a lot of um, damaging and harmful shampoos and conditioners, which I really appreciated. You can have a little um, pause here and have a look at that if you want to. But mainly I was looking at the no SLS, um, and obviously it needed to be vegan and cruelty free, so it's not tested on animals, it's 100% vegan, 100% carbon neutral, um, and then all of those things that it doesn't have in it, like mineral oils and animal additives and parabens and SLS and lots of things. So, um, it's a huge bottle and this has lasted me, when did I get this? I think in November or December and I am, um, I don't know, I'm a little over halfway finished with it so it does last a good long time um, and yeah it's good. I haven't really noticed many differences between these and um, like regular shampoo that I would have normally used. Um, maybe it possibly doesn't leave your hair feeling as squeaky clean, which is good because that's what's drying it out and making it oilier in the long run. Um, but no, it feels pretty clean. Um, it lathers up, um, it does all that good stuff that you love in a shower. It smells really nice. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been using. And because I have so much hair, um, I do tend to have to uh, wash it twice, which I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing. I, do, I mean, I really have to. Like, the first wash through, it doesn't lather at all. It just kind of feels like I haven't put anything in my hair. And then I'll rinse it out, and then I'll go through with the second one and lather up more, and it'll get through all of the layers. So the first shampoo, it feels like I put it on my hair, and like my hair just, like, drinks it or something, because then I can only just put it at the top. I don't know, it doesn't go through all of my hair. I think because my hair is so oily by the time I wash it, because I try not to wash it um, very often. I wash it like when I absolutely have to, when it's like it like it really needs a wash. So it is quite oily by the time I wash it, and I think that my hair just it needs a double cleanse. Uh, so that's what I do, and then with the um, conditioner, I just put it in the ends, and then I'll just brush it through and make sure it's um, it's all through the ends, especially because I have this bleached hair. Maybe in the future I won't use conditioner. I'm not sure. Um, maybe I just won't use any products, that would be amazing, that's my goal. And then I've also been using this Herbal Hair Rinse Conditioner by Soap Nuts. This I bought because my hair is naturally super fine and that means it's really really tangly as well. And um, so this says, where does it say on it? Our key ingredient is apple cider vinegar, it helps to promote any residue and also helps to close the hair cuticles which means fewer tangles and shiny hair. So it's the fewer tangles that got me. On this one I also wanted to try something that was um, not harmful to the hair, so it was SLS free um, and organic and natural and all of that stuff and I love the Living Naturally website. I really love it and I love soap nuts for certain things so I use them to wash my clothes but I've tried the soap nut shampoo bars and it was a nightmare. I've only heard positive things. There are only positive reviews online and everyone says they're amazing. It was awful. It literally gave me a solid helmet. It felt like, um, in the shower it felt fine and then as my hair was drying afterwards, it felt like I was, I poured like Elmer's glue all over my hair and it just turned into this like solid helmet. My boyfriend came home, um, as my hair was drying and he was like, what happened? Like it was awful. It looked like I had poured oil all over my hair, like it was so greasy and oily um, and it felt like solid, like I couldn't even get a brush through, it was awful, it was the worst thing in the world, I don't know how people can give positive reviews, I don't, I mean maybe it's my hair type, I don't know, but um, yeah, this has got a little bit of soap nut in it and I do feel it, if I use more than like three or four sprays, I definitely feel that gluey, helmety thing coming back. Um, so I'm going to use this up and then I'm not going to repurchase it, I'm going to use the bottle um, and make my own apple cider vinegar rinse that's going to be basically apple cider vinegar and some essential oils and water. Um, and I think that'll work better. Um, so what this does is it balances the pH levels in your scalp um, after you've shampooed it. Um, the pH balance um, is off and so your hair is a bit, your, your scalp and your skin is a bit like, oh! happening and so you need to like readdress the balance and that's what apple cider vinegar does so in the past I have tried um, shampoo bars I tried the ones from Lush but they are 
packed with like perfumes and SLS and all those nasty things that I'm trying to avoid. And I tried the Soap Nut Shampoo Bar, which I just told you about was like awful. I've given those to my boyfriend. He likes it. He's got um, black hair, so it's like thick and can handle it. So I don't know. He's fine. Whatever. I can't use it. Um, and so I kind of gave in with the shampoo bars. Uh, I don't like them. I'd much prefer using um, this like normal liquid shampoos. I really want to try making my own low poo method, making my own shampoo. Um, preferably out of like a single ingredient. I know people wash their hair with just purely apple cider vinegar. I've tried that. It doesn't cut it. I have so much hair. I mean, I have a lot of hair. I mean, I've been to the hair. I used to work in a hairdresser's and they touched my hair and they were like, oh my God, your hair looks thick, but like this is the thickest hair I've ever felt. And I'm like, I know, I tell people this. Like, I have so much hair, guys. I have so much and it is, I mean, it's a pain to wash. It really is. And it, it really is. I have very oily skin and hair, which I'm not complaining about. I think that's a good thing. It keeps you youthful. It keeps you moisturized. Um, it's, it's all those good things, but it also means that um, I have to wash my hair very frequently. Um, I had a fringe for most of my life, um, but it just, it was too much. I had to wash my fringe like literally every day because it was just like, collecting root, I don't know, the shorter the hair the more oily it seems to get, or the, like the closer to the root I guess the more oily it is and so I had to grow that fringe out and um, yeah, if you guys have any tips or advice or recipes for shampoo that works for um, thick or like just like a lot of hair and very oily, please let me know, I'd really really love um, to hear them and to try them out. Because my roots are growing out um, so quickly, I would really like to jump on the no poo bandwagon as soon as possible. So I'd really like to start transitioning now from um, these like shop bought um, low poo, no SLS shampoos. I'd really like to just start making my own um, and then weaning myself and my hair and my scalp off shampoo altogether, eventually, hopefully go no poo. That is the plan guys and I need your help so please if you have any advice please leave it in the comments below and that is it for now and I will see you guys I would say next week but I might have a vlog coming out next week so I might see you guys sooner than in a week's time. Anyway I'll see you then. Bye! <laughs>